Okay, everyone. Uh, this is Amin Mojara with Imagination Everywhere and the Ria Institute, um, and this is part seven of the uh, Visual Web Developer series uh, for those of you who want to be web developers for beginners. And this is a special video. This is probably one of the uh, uh, the best videos that you guys are going to see. We're going to get an introduction to jQuery UI. Not an introduction to jQuery, but an introduction to the jQuery UI. Um, there are many videos out there on Jake, jQuery, and I do encourage you um, to watch those video tutorials. But many of you may not know about jQuery UI. <clears throat> and, you know, um, in the past couple of videos, we went over um, light boxes and um, all the other uh, little dynamic stuff that you can do with your website. Well, jQuery is one of the leading uh, organizations that produce these type of uh, of internet website uh, tools such as the <clears throat> accordion as you can see um, you can do things like this and all this stuff that I was showing you in the, in the previous videos um, you can go to this site J jQuery UI uh, let's zoom in on the URI uh, HTTP colon backslash backslash jQuery UI uh, dot com um, and you can actually get all of these tools for free, customize them yourself, um, and put them in your web projects. Look at these; these these tools are great. Here's the here's the uh, the dialog box. As you can see, um, you know they have different versions of it, and. Uh, one of the nice things about it is they're resizable, so you can put video. You know, we're gonna get, we're gonna talk about. I'm gonna do a whole series on jQuery UI um, for YouTube, but we're we're going to uh, do a lot of things with uh, jQuery and there's some other JavaScript libraries, but jQuery UI definitely is the leader and um, helping you um, learn JavaScript and learn the dynamic aspects of and object oriented aspects of of javascript um, so i just wanted to show you you know jquery ui and what we're going to do now is go ahead and show you how to download um, uh, from jquery ui and start using the code um, what they have here is what's called a theme builder so they have all the widgets and effects right here in the theme builder so it's not working right now uh, but you can still download the code and there's another way um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because right now they're fixing a the bug with the theme builder so the theme builder basically allows you to come in and customize your gadgets from your date picker to everything else so let's go with the uh, Let's go with the uh, let's go with the blitzer. Where is that at? Uh, no one's here somewhere. UI black brightness. There it is. So let's go ahead and go with this. Look at the theme. You have the date picker, you have the slider here, uh, you have the modal dialog box here. So all we have to do now that we've picked our theme, and you can also customize it um, by just going back to the roll your own theme, and you can go here and customize it. You can change the font, you can change the color radius, uh, you can change the header and toolbars. Um, you're not able, I don't think you're able to do that now uh, because they're having problems with it, but what you can do is you can go ahead and do go here, download the theme, have all of them checked. Let's go ahead and uh, select all elements as you can see. And we have it as a blitzer theme over here in the over here in the corner. Um, you can do some advanced settings. I wouldn't encourage that right now. I'll explain to you that in another video. But just right now, do the uh, uh, the Blitzer theme. 
and you can also use this dialog box if you you know want want to do the other themes later on and then go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and press download and I'm gonna go ahead and download this to my desktop let's go ahead and download it um, and then let's go to the desktop let's go ahead and unzip it okay now that we've unzipped it we can go ahead and get rid of that let's open up the folder and as you can see we have all the stuff we need to go ahead and create our own widgets and effects and and uh, and uh, attributes so let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio let's go navigate to that file which is on our desktop there it is right there so what we can do is open it up if we go to the HTML page now I want to show you what happens when we uh, what the problem is let's go ahead and run this as you can see you can't see anything that's a problem so what you do is you go back to jQuery UI and you go over to development and what you do is you go down here let me zoom in a little bit you go down here to what's called the Google CDN uh, for jQuery UI Th this is a multi-stable version of the jQuery UI also on Google uh, CDN as well as all other as all uh, theme roller theme so what we can do what we can do and there's going to be a uh, part two of this uh, video because there's other things I need to go over is we can click on the blitzer theme and if I zoom out as you can see here's a CSS sheet um, in the browser if we zoom in to the title to the address bar all these uh, style sheets are located on Google's Ajax library um, with the jQuery UI uh, current version theme um, and as you can see here's the Blitzer theme uh, there so what we do is we go ahead and we save the page as and we just we can just save it on our um, no we can go in and to the CSS file the blitzer that is on our desktop and just go ahead and save it right there yes we want to replace it okay now that we've replaced it we can go back into Visual Studio and basically all we have to do is delete the link to the style sheet go over here to the style sheet and just drag it back on the page uh, save it go back to our browser refresh the page you have some styles now now the problem is, is that this theme if we go back to jQuery UI if we go back to our to our theme oops wrong button we go back to the blitzer theme and we click on the blitzer theme as you can see we have you know gloss it's a little bit more glossy so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and um, continue in part two um, to show you what, what I mean